How's it going everyone? This is Mike. Welcome back to my TV room with its uh, terrible lighting. And I'm here to do a video response to a community chat topic that was brought up by my friend Ian, also known as All Things Film, sometime last week. He asked a question that was uh, kind of interesting. He said, what are the movies that we have in our collections that we have been putting off watching? And if you're like me, uh, a lot of these films behind me uh, I have not watched yet for various reasons, but there are some that I put off longer than others. And he mentioned two films. One was Braveheart, the Mel Gibson film, which he said that he finally got around to watching and he ended up loving it. So he's happy that he finally did. And he also mentioned Days and Confused, which he didn't like. And that, I've never seen Braveheart. I really have no interest in it. Days and Confused is a film that I did buy and I watched it once didn't like it so I ended up giving it away so so much for that some of the people that responded to Ian's uh, chat topic they 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 mentioned Schindler's List and I'll have to join in with them I have I've had Schindler's List sitting on the shelves for a few years now I don't know how long ago I bought this but I picked it up at Barnes & Noble for five bucks and it's, it's a nice deluxe edition edition and uh, I just I can't bring myself to sit down and watch this and I I've heard so much about it I know it's supposed to be a great great film and a lot of people tell me it's it's difficult to watch because of the theme and all that the Holocaust but, but that is very uplifting and uh, sort of life affirming at the end but I have not been able to sit down and watch this um, as someone who struggles with deep dark depression I mean we're talking deep and dark here I do I just don't want to put myself through this someday I will get around to it this is three hours and I think 16 minutes long three hours I think it's 16 or 18 um, yeah that, that's that's a pretty big investment of time but someday yeah I, I will probably watch it I also bought this at Big Lots for three bucks this is the nice uh, deluxe edition of Wyatt Earp starring Kevin Costner and also a very long film and probably for that reason I haven't sat down to watch it. I've heard some sort of mixed reviews about this, so I don't know if it's going to be just like a three-hour snooze or what. But anyway, that's one. Here's another one I picked up at Big Lots for three dollars. Alexander revisited, revisited the director's cut, or no, the final cut. Ah, the final cut. Okay, someday. Again, it's probably the investment of time. This is uh, Once Upon a Time in America which I did actually start to watch about a year or so ago and as I recall it it opens up with a major bloodbath scene and I may I had it in the the player for maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes and I thought I don't need this shit so I just I just took it out now later on down the road when I started getting more and more interested in the work of Tuesday Weld who has a supporting role in this I decided to put it back in and watch as many of her scenes as I could find out of context and she was very very good someday I, I probably will sit down and watch this um, yeah someday <clears throat> another one that I put off watching and I just I just picked this up recently I got it on sale otherwise I may I may never have bought it that is the Kino version of DW Griffith's Intolerance which came out in 1916 the year after he did the birth of a nation now this is a very very long film and it's probably going to be just boring as hell I made it through the birth of a nation once and I doubt if I will ever watch it again it's sitting on the shelf behind me now and it's sort of a landmark film something that probably everybody should see before they drop dead so this is probably in that same category and I I will yeah I will I think I will I don't know and another film that I know is highly regarded by just about everybody I've ever heard talk about it is Scorsese's The Departed with a great cast of actors uh, DiCaprio Wahlberg Jack Nicholson um, great actors you know I just I just have I did actually start to watch this this has been a couple of years ago I picked this up used for under two bucks picked it up at a used uh, DVD store and I started watching it I made it for maybe again 20 minutes I just wasn't picking up on the story I just wasn't I just wasn't getting a hold of it so I took it out and put it back on the shelf and it's been gathering dust ever since uh, eventually I will watch this I suppose simply because 
again, it's so highly regarded and it's, it's kind of an important film. So those are the films that I've, I have um, been putting off watching. And I, I do have my priorities, you know. Every time I think about putting on Once Upon a Time in America, I happen to think about something a little more interesting like Creature with the Atom Brain or Riot on Sunset Strip or Queen of Outer Space, Zsa Zsa. I mean, we do have our priorities, right? And then, of course, if, if you want to, if you want to decide between Alexander revisited the uh, <clears throat> final cut and a drive-in, drive-in double feature with the Screaming Skull and the Attack of the Giant Leeches, what would you do? Okay, <laughs> that's enough of that. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later.